Before we get to your scheduled video, please remember that likes and comments tell YouTube to promote our work to other people, and subscribing to the channel tells you when something new drops. You can also head to the link tree in the description to peruse my books, join us on Discord, or support us on Patreon. You can get episodes of Journey of Wrestling and Violent Profiles early, as well as a load of other treats. Even just a dollar a month earns you a name drop for being cool. Thanks for listening, and enjoy the show. Wrestling. We are ECW. It is 1996. We are two shows to December to dismember. Not the bad one you're thinking of. Probably a different bad one, knowing how my ratings go. Um, before we get into it, I need to talk about his cool, don't I? That's going to be Passion Killer 7-Eleven, a guy from Ohio. Distrucity KTL, on the tip of your tongue, DG, Harmony, and Rob. Uh, if you would like to be cool, you can give a dollar to my Patreon every month. That's $12 a year. That's That's nothing. You get episodes of Journey of Wrestling a week early. You also get this, well, the other Journey of Wrestling series. You get this entire series all at once. You can binge watch it. That's great. Um, it's a limited series. I might be doing more in the future. We'll see. Either way, I appreciate the patronage of those who are supporting. It is the way I make money. And, uh, yeah. This, is, uh, this has been rough. I think this would be a really good save to play and like try to build, you know, from underneath. I think I could eventually get these guys going places. I just ECW starts with a roster that is so bad. Like a good quarter of them are dangerous workers and half of them at least are one stars and the other star is two. But uh hey, we're making it work. We've got two shows to go here, okay? So um, how's fatigue? Let's check that first. Uh, highest is still Raven, Taz. Rhino needs to calm down. Um, uh, maybe if we can skip these guys, that's okay. But Raven and Taz and Rhino. Alright, we can manage that. We'll do another segment for, uh, Sandman versus Raven. This has got a lot of juice behind it. We might be able to make this go another month. Um... We haven't really done any fight tees. Surprise attack, okay? Sandman didn't like being backed down last week, so he's just going to clock Raven. Um, we've got Terry Funk versus Rick Rude. Tommy Dreamer and Taz is kind of pushing the staleness, so I think I might back off on them this week. What's theirs at? 18? Tommy's at nothing? Okay. Was last week to Tavaz when Taz defended his title? Uh, let's have Dreamer get a win over somebody. How's New Jack doing? Want to know? Let's have them do a hardcore match. Watch me regret this as somebody gets injured. Street fight. Okay. RVD's at four, so we could do something with him. Uh, but uh, anyway... Um, Yeah, let's do a match here. Let's do another trios match. Uh, Terry Funk is a baby face. Jerry Lynn is a baby face. Um, and let's just get some good guys in there. Mike Awesome. Okay. They're going to go up against Chris Jericho, Rick Rude. And who's a heel that's pretty cool but doesn't get a lot of play? Is Mike Awesome neutral? He is. Undo Mike Awesome. Undo Chris Jericho. Undo Rick Root. Terry Funk. Jerry Lynn. Rob Van Dam. Mike Awesome. Chris Jericho. Rick Root. Book it. That's great. That'll be our main event. Um, do we have the juice for all that? Yeah, that should be fine. Uh, well, it's going to be a promo next week, so it should be fine. That's definitely fine. Dudleyville Originals versus Blue World Order. Um, let's do another promo. No, I don't want to combine them. I don't want it to be bad. So let's go back to these guys. They did Comedy Gold last time. Not these guys. These guys. Here we go. Uh, back to the silly section. Uh, 
a bodybuilding contest that involves the Blue Meanie and the Dudleys and Nova. This will be great. Um, we need some more heat on these guys. So let's grab something that's going to give them some hype. Smack Talk's a little difficult. Off-camera assault's not bad. Let's try that. The Eliminators are mad they're going to off-camera assault the Dudley Boys. That's usually a pretty strong bit of juice there. Let's add a producer focus to that. Okay, we have two things left. Um... Ball's got a win recently. Let's get Mikey a win over Mustafa. Keep him around. You know what I mean? Um, two Cold Scorpio, JT Smith. Who's on my losers list? D. Malenko. Oh, because he's in a tag team and where he was before he lost. He's a babyface? His tag team partner's not a baby face. They end up being neutral. I see. That makes sense. Alright. Um, what do you add? Scorpio 01. Malenko versus uh, Scorpio is fine. Yeah, that's fine. And that's it. That's the show. So, we'll just do that. Looks pretty good. Let's hope it plays pretty good, right? That's the trick, isn't it? Um, let's get Dean Malenko back to a positive record. Lively start. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Off-camera assault. The Eliminators are mad. It was bad. We, in fact, lost hype. It's rough, guys. Uh, Mikey Whipwreck versus... Oh, we're getting Mikey a win. That's right. Worked against the crowd for some reason. Don't do that. Bodybuilding contest. I think... Um, via Enthusiasm? No, let's get the Dudleyville Originals a win here. Uh, or, you know what, I'm going to hit Simulate. Blue World Order wins. Was not Comedy Gold, unfortunately. Uh, Dreamer gets a win over New Jack, just to kind of buoy up his enthusiasm. Didn't do much for us. We still got a holy shit moment, though, so that's cool. Uh, and Sandman surprise attacks Raven. He's pissed from last week. Okay, was that a hot segment? No, they're just both hot. Um, I guess these guys win here. Sure. I really wish that would have been better. Three and like a or third stars? Okay. Yep, yep, bleeding fans. Bleeding fans. Alright, go home show. So, this is important actually. Um, because we can do a fight between Sabu, Sandman, and Raven. That's right. Sabu's back, and he's getting involved in this title match. Um, these guys are doing good. Taz is doing a lot better. How is my fatigue? This seems to be okay, actually. Jericho, Mikey Whipwreck, Scorpio, Malenko. All right. Um, I don't think I've done event hype. So we'll do that. Okay. Um, Daniels is 2-0. and oh. He could... Um, we need to climb, though. I was going to say he could stand to lose, but... Uh, he can beat little Guido. That's not a match. That's a segment. And I was looking at fatigue, so he's already above little Guido. Um... 
Norman Smiley's morale's low. Jerry Lynn's in an angle. Stevie's not. Ball's just got a big win. Let's do that. Well, yeah, he's a two-star from the... Um, the heat, the hotness. He's hot. That's what I'm saying. Okay. What are our... Let's get these feuds on. Let's get them hype here. Terry Funk and Rick Rude is really close to the limit. So is Tommy Dreamer versus Taz. Um... Jericho versus Jerry Lynn's probably got to go down. This can keep running. Eliminators versus Dudley Boys. Okay. Jerry Lynn's more of a wrestler. So. We'll do a promo battle. We'll do Funk. We'll do Rude. We will do Perry Saturn. Actually, we're trying to raise stock here, so let's do the guy who's lowered down, John Cronus. And let's do uh, Devon. Yeah, Devon. Um, throw a producer on that. Okay. Um, why are they involved? Why are they involved? Uh, John Cronus and Devon are arguing backstage. Um, Terry Funk tries to break it up being a locker room leader and Rick Rude antagonizes him and they all just sort of get into it verbally. Sounds good to me. Uh, let's have Jericho carry Jerry Lynn through another promo. Um, let's have him do a stare down. Maybe we can get that up. Uh, how are all of our feuds? That's, that's two. Three. Greatest wrestler, yep. New challenger. Dreamer versus Taz we need to do. Uh, hurt my ego, that's on there. Disrespect. That we can do as its own thing. This is uh, mostly you know what we don't need to do disrespect this week. Dreamer versus Taz will run. Um, what have they done feud wise? Have they done a stare? No, we're doing a stare down though. Fight tease? No. Um, what about a contract signing? Let's remove the producer from this. Let's put her on this. Okay, and then another match. Rob Van Dam. Um, Mike Awesome. Mike's probably going to win this one. Uh, let's get... Let's get Axel Rotten in there. Um, little Guido, Damian Kane. Is that five way? Yeah. Uh, and Crowbar. Just a big scrum. Okay. So, yeah, we are opening with an event package. Then the rest of that looks pretty good. Okay. Come on, guys. You could do it for me, please. That would be nice. Give me some fans back. I need them. Nice. Um, Mike Awesome, I believe, is winning this one, right? Zero and two? Yeah. 
it was fine. That was bad. That sucks. Um, that was not great. Daniels gets a win. Contract signing. I'll have Dreamer look good here. Hey, thank you. That's nice. Oh, because the producer was on a different whoopsie doodle. Hey, that fight went well, too. That was our main event. Well, 46 bucks, four star show. Still lost fans, but what can you do? Okay, two messages. What are they? Potential negotiation. Roddy Piper is unhappy in WWF and will be leaving when his contract expires. Luke is unhappy in WWF. Who is Luke? Um, overview. WWF. What's Roddy's already part time, isn't he? No, he should. Yeah, four appearances left. Six months to leave. What am I looking at here? Three fifty to start with. I don't think so. Oh, Bushwhacker Luke, right? Yes. I don't want one bushwhacker. Thank you. I'm okay. Thanks for letting me know. All right. It is a dis December to dismember. Let's get Raven. Let's get Sandman. Let's get Sabu. Let's book this match. We're going to blow off who's more hardcore. Uh, we're going to add a gimmick. It's going to be Raven's Rules. Okay, um, what else is going on? What are our other feuds? Terry Funk versus Rick Rude, that's got to blow off. Tommy Dreamer versus Taz, that's got to blow off. Jericho versus Jerry Lynn, we should probably blow off. I, we might be able to run at another one, but I don't want to take the risk. Um, and then tag matches... Um, Dudleyville Originals versus Blue World Order. I don't know that that needs to be a thing. Uh, Eliminators versus Dudley Boys. Yeah, this sucks, so let's blow it off. Let's add a gimmick to it so that maybe it's at least decent. Um, sure, a ladder match. Why not? Okay. Uh, let's keep... It's funny how the silly segments end up, um... Really working for guys and making some feuds that go a long time. I don't know if that's built into their stuff, but... Um, no, that's all good. Uh, let's do a singing contest. We're probably going to have to bring this home soon. Um, production we want. We want to do a uh, main event package. Always good. Um... Let's get Shane out there. Slander. Uh, that's already gold. That's funny. Um, New Japan. Okay. Three things left we can do here. Uh, I'm. We're still running Raven versus Sandman. So Shane's not going to have anything to do for a bit. I'm not going to start him in a feud just because I don't want him to um, get, you know, uh, off step. Uh, so we need someone to challenge for Taz's title. Taz is neutral, so it can be whoever. Um, we got, what is Taz doing? He's 3-3 three, because three he's over. Let's do balls. Um, let's do... The new guys. Let's do Daniels. Let's do... Rhino makes me a little nervous because he's a dangerous worker, but we'll give it a shot. And... Uh, new Jack. Cool. Book it. This can just be a regular street fight. 
and the winner will challenge for Chaz's title. There was something I needed to do. Oh, I did. All that stuff. Cool. I think it's going to be Balls. Um, balls Mahoney feud with Taz. Okay. And let's have another tag match to see who's going to be the number one contender there. It's going to be the Natural Assassins. Um... Yeah, against the Bruise Brothers and the Pitbulls, both. Beat them in a three-way. Oh, minus 20 line. Oh, they're all heels, aren't they? So, Natural Assassins, Pitbulls, Bruise Brothers. There we go. Still minus 20, huh? Natural Assassins versus Donnie and Chad Austin. Is that okay? Can we do that? Cool. Um, One more segment. What's a good segment? Who's got good charisma? Jericho Mustafa's at a three right now. Yeah, let's do him. Let's use his uh, juice for all it's worth, I guess. He's a baby. No, he's a heel. Let's just do a heat promo. All right, let's add producer to the singing contest. And let's organize this. That's on the pre-show. Main event package can go before the main event. Singing contest is weirdly popular. Sounds good. Blow off, blow off, blow off, blow off, blow off, not blowing off. Okay. Here's hoping. Natural Assassins are our new tag team contenders. Oh, let me write that down as well, just in case. Mustafa? Not bad. Thank you. Um, we're going to give Balls the win here. Street fight increase for this event. Holy shit. It was a four and a half star street fight. That's pretty fun. Thanks, guys. Shane Douglas is talking smack. Nice. Uh, Dudleys retain their titles. Five star match. That's awesome. Um, got some blood. Feud ended. Wasn't great. I'll take it. Uh, Jericho versus Jerry Lynn. I'm trying to build Jerry Lynn here, so let's have Jerry Lynn go over. Good match. Um, the singing contest. I'm a little more interested in building Blue World Order, so we're going to do that. Did not get any hype for the feud. That's interesting. Uh, Taz retains his title. Hopefully Dreamer doesn't throw a shit fit. Dreamer's probably going to throw a shit fit. Rick Rude and Terry Funk. Um, Terry's already over and he's 52. Let's give it to Rick. Hey, hot match, lively start, five stars. Thank you, guys. I appreciate that. Four stars for the main event hype. And Raven will retain his titles in his Raven's Rules match. Nobody got hurt, which is key. Um, Rick Root is over. That's what I wanted. That's exactly what I wanted, in fact. We're actually hot now. Hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Raven's a face of the company. Raven's rules is better here. Ladder's better here. Okay. This all went pretty well. 137 bucks, four and a half star show. What kind of fan loss are we dealing with? 17.3 thousand. Because Starcade was five stars. Because they've got Hulk Hogan and Sting and Ric Flair and they're cheating. Yep, Starcade sure was good, wasn't it? 
I'm sure not worth talking about, huh? Blah. Let me take this offer and leave. Who is this? Snot Dudley to WCW for 390 bucks? Yeah, man, I'm not using you. Like, you're good, and I was going to do stuff with you, but probably not within the year. See you later, Snot. Thanks for being here. I could use the money. Oh, it's not a one-star charisma, anyhow. It's fine. See ya. Blue Meanie wants to change his appearance. Yes, we can do that. I, I'm actually not a fan of how that looks. Um, change Blue Meanie appearance. Do we have time to do that now? No. We're, we're, we're running fine. Especially because I need to check my mail. Rick Rude's over. Luna's ready to return. That's awesome. Shane Douglas is healed. Uh, we could get Hoovy. I don't know who Mass Transit is. I'll have to check that out. I think Hoovy's usually a one-star charisma, though. Lita! I forgot about that. We might have to get Lita. I know we used her pretty hard in the Attitude Era save, but come on. For some reason, Chris Chetty got popularity. Okay. Joe Applebomber. I don't know who that is. We recruited Draws. Training finish on Sandman. Ian Rotten's happy to be here. Uh, we lost hype on the the feud because they were being buddies. And we got rid of Snot Dudley. Okay. Okay. Um, We've been worse. 